Thanks for driving me home with my <laughs> You're the nicest cop I've ever met. <laughs> Whoa! Hey! Great. Another wipeout. Pipe is a funny name. <laughs> like the fish. Officer Fish. <laughs> Jason, Pike is my... Holy shit, is it snowing? Sure is. Oh, hey, someone made a course about my life. Still want to hit the trails later this week? This one's from yesterday. Hold up. It was Colonel Ducky on Gabe's couch with the bottle. Is that just a hole? Damn. I wonder if the bullet's still in there. Guess these were for mining. Maybe I'll see a circus one day. Once I'm better with crowds. Unusually personable staff. Nicely done, big bro. Shit. Now Mac's scared. At least he's not freaking out anymore. He won't make me lose control. That looks interesting. Jed asked me to clear that off. Holy shit. Can I talk to you real quick? What do you want? Listen, what happened upstairs was fucked up, right? From both of us. Where are you going with this? Look, Riley's headed over here. She's pretty heated at it. I, I don't think it helps to recap all the gory details, you know? So you're saying you want me to lie to cover your ass? No. No, just, like, let me handle it. Look, she's gonna break up with me otherwise. We've been together four years. She is the best thing that's ever happened to me. So please, help me out. is wrong with you? Oh my god. Look at your face. No, it's okay. Don't even. What were you thinking? Where's Gabe? Why do you give a shit? Because my boyfriend just got into a fight with him. I swear. This is it. You better have a good explanation, or we're done. It's, it's not my fault. I just wanted to talk to the guy. About what? About you! About why you guys are meeting behind my back. Okay. 
So how did the fight happen? The bastard sucker punched me. Okay, um, not exactly sucker punched, but he definitely started it. Oh God, were you there too? Yeah, I was there. Max telling you a whole lot of bullshit. You know what? That doesn't even surprise me anymore. So what really happened? Riley. Mac barged in, accused Gabe of sleeping with you, sucker punched him, and then kicked him while he was down. Riley, listen. What happened to Mac's face? I did that. Oh, well, good. It sounds like he deserved it. Thanks for telling me the truth, Alex. Wait. Wait, are you... are we okay? Are you fucking serious? I'm so embarrassed by you right now. But are we... still together? What do you think, you fucking idiot? No. Alex Chen? Uh... Assaulting Mac Loudon on your first day here, huh? Jason Pike, the deputy sheriff. I'm going to have to take you in for questioning. Mac assaulted Gabe. He's the one you want. <laughs> your face. <laughs> you should see your face. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, I'm only kidding. Uh, nobody's in trouble here. I, <laughs> even I just like to prank each other. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been pranked by a cop before. <laughs> you definitely got me. <laughs> Thanks for being a good sport. Can I buy you a drink? Um, maybe. I'm working right now. Well, I'll be at the bar. You want one, you just come by, okay? <sighs> C. Harmon must be Charlotte. This is really cool. How mysterious. Coupons for weed? What a time to be alive. Haven seems pretty serious about this festival. lives? Jed is a real hero. All right, let's see if I can find Ducky's whiskey up here. Charlotte made this? Gabe mentioned she was an artist, but I didn't realize he meant, like, professionally. I could never make something so personal.
found this upstairs. In Gabe's couch? Really? Must have been a night. Many thanks, Alex. My pleasure, Ducky. Can I pour you a glass? Uh, No, no. Allow me. To Miss Alex Chen, a most tenacious detective. To Alex. Cheers. Done what Jed asked me to do. I should see if he needs anything else. My dad was in the service. Damn boys, always fighting. Time to grow up. Are you finished up with everything you want to do? Yeah, I took care of everything you mentioned. Is there anything else you'd like me to do? Nah, the boys should be back soon. Speak of the devil. How you feeling? Not great. Not awful. I got Alex covering for you. For real? We need to talk. I'll be on the rooftop, okay? Okay. I think that's enough for today. I don't know what kind of place you worked at before, but you got a ways to go. You can't keep an injured man waiting. You better go upstairs. Thanks. We'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Time to talk to Gabe. How's your jaw? Is the pain bad? Look, Gabe, I'm really sorry. I... Do you have a cooler under there? I like to hide beers around the house. Because, well, you never know. You never know what? You just never know. So, need a manager for your underground cage fighting career? Okay, I'm really sorry. How many bones have you broken? Like, on other people? Dude, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. 
Don't apologize. I'm fine. Now that we're talking about it, I guess I never realized. That I'm a crazy person? No, come on. I never realized what your life must have been like. On, on your own. It was fine. You know, when I pulled you off the Mac and you hit me, I, I was angry. Then I thought about how you took him apart. Like you've done it before. Kids in foster care fight a lot. I learned how to defend myself. I'd say. I can tell there's something going on with you. Something troubling you. Maybe it's time you open up. I want to talk to Gabe, but what can I even say right now to explain what happened with Mac? There's something off about me. I know what other people are feeling. I can see these auras around them. And if they feel strongly enough, if they're angry or sad or afraid, I feel it too. And then I lose control. And this has happened? For a long time. Like Mac. I felt all that anger like it was my own. I think it was pretty clear that Mac was angry. It's more than that. He wasn't just angry at you. He's angry at himself. He thinks he's going to lose Riley. Did Riley tell you that? No. No one told me that. I just... feel it. sure it's not just, you know? It's not just in my head, Gabe. I promise. It's not from meds or stress or trauma or whatever. It's real. Can you tell what I'm feeling right now? It doesn't work like that. It's only when you feel really strong emotions. Oh. I don't expect you to believe me. No one does. So you can actually feel what other people are feeling? Yes. You're like going inside their heart. I guess I am. Dude, you have superpowers.
getting beat up and having no friends. That's a super curse, dude. Okay, okay, maybe superpowers is a bit strong. It's just... I have no idea what's going on with people half the time. Charlotte's teaching me how to improve my emotional intelligence, but this, this is on another level. You can get in there. That's... That's really special. Special. That's really your take on all this? Totally. I mean, it's whatever you make it, right? But it doesn't matter what's going on. I'm here for you. Don't forget that. Tell me about the guitar. Oh, shit. You found it. It was supposed to be a huge surprise. Surprise? <laughs> well, what do you think? I love it. Thank you so much. Of course. Welcome home. Oh, hey, dude, what's up? Hey, is Ethan up here? No, he was heading home. He was, but I haven't seen him in a while. I told him not to wander off. I'll find him. Gabe, wait. Earlier, when I was talking with Ethan, he told me he was hiking up the mountains to explore the old mine. What? Why didn't you say something? I'm sorry. If he actually went up there, we need to move. Now. Okay, let's go. Ethan? Ethan! Come on, pick up, pick up. Alex. This way. Wow. Been a while since I was up here. You don't do your ranger stuff around here? Private land, outside of my jurisdiction. Dad brought me up here a bunch when I was little, though. I was his miner in training. <laughs> that was back before mining meant blowing the tops off mountains. Any luck? In touch base with the safety team up at the site. We're gonna postpone tonight's blast until we find them. 
Oh, at least we're not racing the clock. Hey, you good? Charlotte's got to be losing it right now. Hey, she's tough. Always has been. Come on, let's take a look around. This kid. Can you imagine the shit we would have caught from Dad if we'd done anything like this? I should have said something earlier. I didn't. I mean, when he said he was going to the old mine... I... Alex, it's fine. You couldn't have known. It's not your fault. Yeah. Still, though. I'm gonna go take a look around. Let me know if you spot any sign of Ethan. Sure. I can... do that. How was Ethan planning to get into the mine? <laughs>